Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Porch. I'm your host, Robert. Alright, XFL week trace. Oh, so week two took a little hit. I was 2-2 two and two in straight up picks. 2-2 two and two against the spread. 1-3 and three on the over-under. Um, year to date, 5-3 straight up picks. 5-3 against the spread. 3-5 on the over-under. 13-11 from week one and two combined. Alright. We have our standard four games. We have the Seattle Sea Dragons, who are 0-2, versus the Vegas Vipers, who are also 0-2. For the Sea Dragons, they are scoring 18 points a game on average, giving up 21. The Vipers, 13 points a game scoring, giving up 20. On third down, the Sea Dragons are 30.7%. Fourth down, they're 66.6%, while the Vipers are 36% on third down and a measly 25% on 4th down. Ben DiNucci for the Sea Dragons has a 65.1% completion ratio, while Luis Perez for the Vipers is at 56.1. The line on this game is the Seattle Sea Dragons, minus 3. Yeah, I think of these two 0-2 teams, they are the best of these two. So I got Seattle winning, covering, and taking under on the 38. So we have three teams that are 2-0, and the, Black, the Battle Hawks, the Defenders, and the Roughnecks. We have the Renegades, Army Renegades, and San Antonio Baramas, 1-1, one and, one. and then the Sea Dragons, the Vipers, and then the Orlando Guardians, 0-2. Oh so next up we have them, 2-0, St. Louis Battle Hawks, going up against the 2-0 DC Defenders. The Battlehawks scoring 19 points a game, giving up 16 and a half. AJ McCarron, 64.5% completion ratio. On third down, the team is 36%. On fourth down, they're at 50%. DC Defenders, 2-0. Scoring 20 points a game is a little bit better than the uh, Battlehawks. And they're uh, giving up 12 points a game, so their defense is just a little bit better as well. Jordan Tamu. 45.2% completion ratio. Now, if you remember 2020 St. Louis Battle Hawks, Jordan Tamu was the quarterback for him. Um, DC, is, DC is favored by two. Seems like when I go against the Battle Hawks, they win. So, you know what? I'm giving the Battle Hawks a two. I got the Battle Hawks winning, covering an under on a 35 and a half. Next up, we have the 0 2 Orlando Guardians versus the 1 1 Arlington Renegades. The Guardians are giving up 31 and a half points on average. 63 points through two games. We're only scoring 12. The Renegades giving up 21.5 and scoring 18. The Guardians are 0-5 on fourth down. 36% on third down. Renegades are 34% on third down, but 25% on fourth down. Paxton Lynch, completion ratio of 59%. The first quarterback in history to be benched, NFL, CFL, USFL, and XFL. Drew Platt for Arlington, 63% passing ratio, which DeAndre Francis and Francois, 46.2% for the Orlando Guardians. The Orlando Guardians are pure poop. Um, Arlington is favored by 9.5. That's actually a pretty big number for XFL. But I got Arlington winning. I am going to say somehow Orlando covers the 9.5 and, and under the 37.5. And, and then we have the 1 and 1 San Antonio Brahmas versus the 2 and 0 Houston Roughnecks. Houston averaging 28 points a game, way giving up 13. The Brahmas averaging 22.5 while giving up 15. On third down, the Roughnecks 42.8% completion, 100% on fourth down. But the Brahmas are 48% on third down and also 100% on fourth down. Jack Cohen for the San Antonio Brahmas completion ratio is 68.3, while Houston Roughnecks Brandon Silvers is 57.1. Houston is favored by four and a half. So I'm picking Houston to win. I got them covering the four and a half. I am taking over on the 37 and a half. 
All right. After two weeks of XFL picks, I am 13 and 11 overall. Here we have week three. Hopefully, hopefully we stay above 500. Um, we've had some really interesting games. We've had some team struggle. We've seen some players that, like the A.J. McCarrens of the world, good players. Jordan Tamu has struggled some. Paxton Lynch. Um, ben DiNucci, he surprised me a lot. Same with Jack Cohen of San Antonio. Um, but that is the preview of week three of the XFL. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. If you're a NASCAR fan or a pro wrestling fan, Robert Sports Show is where you need to be. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show and don't just have a great day. Have a swifty day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports channel content.